my dear students this is a block over block concept of friction you can just see these two blocks are having same masses and force is applied on the upper mass you can just see the free body diagram upper body i am taking separately friction acts in this direction as coefficient of friction is 0.5 limiting friction acts in the left side direction which is equal to mu mg that means limiting friction acts in this direction which is 50 newtons as both are counterbalancing each other that means the upper block is held exactly on the lower block in such a way that both combined together move forward you can take a free body diagram of the lower mass also this friction which is acting left side is having acting like a driving force for the lower block driving force is 50 newtons that means both combine together move forward with an acceleration as these two combine together move with an acceleration acceleration is going to be net force by net mass here net force applied is 50 newtons and net mass is both are having 10 kg so 20 okay so 2.5 meter per second square is going to be an acceleration of combined blocks thank you my dear students, one more similar type of question. But here the force acting on the blocks is 120 newtons. You can just see 120 newtons acts in this direction. Limiting friction between the two blocks because of coefficient of friction is 0 0.5 is going to be mu mg, which is 50 newtons acts in the left side. Therefore, 120 right side, 50 left side. Acceleration is nothing but resultant force by mass of the upper block. So resultant force for the acceleration for the first body is A A. A net force, resultant force is 120 minus 50. 120 minus 50 is going to be 70 divided by 10. Okay. So this is going to be 7 meter per second square. 7 meter per second square for the first block, that is upper block. Lower block. This limiting friction is acting like a driving friction for the lower block in the forward direction. Therefore, F is equal to MA. Acceleration of the lower block which is taken as AB is nothing but 50 divided by F by M 50 divided by 10 which is nothing but 5 meter per second square so upper block is 7 meter per second square lower block is only 5 meter per second square that's it another model for block and block problems let us see the upper block separately I have taken the free body diagram on which 40 newtons acts in this direction the limiting friction because of coefficient of friction 0.5 acts in the left direction because its mass is 5 kgs limiting friction becomes 25 newtons here this limiting friction acts like a driving force for the lower block forward and the, for lower block limiting friction is going to be mu m1 plus m2 into g which is 5 plus 10 into g which is Coefficient of friction is 0.2, therefore limiting friction for lower block is going to be 30 newtons. With this it is understood that driving friction is lesser than the friction which is acting on the lower block in the backward direction. Therefore acceleration, acceleration of the lower block B is going to be 0. Whereas an acceleration of upper block is going to be the resultant force between that is 40 minus 25. 40 minus 25 is 15 by the mass which is taken as 5 here therefore 3 meter per second square is an acceleration of an upper block that is taken as A uh, and acceleration of a lower block B is going to be 0 because the friction which is backward is greater than the driving friction because of the upper block thank you